So number three on my list is Voltaire. Now, he was an outspoken supporter of social reform, despite strict laws in France against those who did speak about it or write about it. There are really harsh penalties, but he didn't really care. He wrote about it anyway. And he used satire in order to cause controversy. And he frequently made use of his works, actually, to criticize church dogma and French institutions during his time. He wrote a biographical essay over King Charles XII, which was when he first publicly started to reject religion. He went even further as to write that human lives were not destined or controlled by bigger things. Voltaire also dealt with metaphysics, which is part of philosophy that talks about things that can't necessarily be proven, such as why we have life, what its purpose is, if God really exists. Now, on the latter part, Voltaire analyzed the Bible and wanted to know if it was even applicable to his modern life and the world he was living in. Voltaire moved to Berlin to join Frederick the Great, a close friend and admirer of his. Now, this king paid him a really good salary, but soon he had to deal with a lawsuit. He had a huge argument with the president of the Berlin Academy of Science because Voltaire had written the diatribe of Dr. Ekekia, which derided the president. Now, this really upset his friend, Mr. Frederick the Great, who ensured all copies of the document were burned. He even went on to arrest Voltaire at a hotel where he was staying along his trip back home. So Louis XV banned Voltaire from Paris, which was where he was supposed to go, and instead he headed out to Geneva. So in 83, when he was 83 years old, he returned to Paris where he was finally allowed to go. But believe it or not, he was so excited that he actually died. Anyway, the church didn't permit his burial under church grounds because of all his comments he had made in the past and they didn't know what to do with it. But ever since then he's been moved, or his body's been moved at least, from one place to the next, one cemetery to another. And finally they rested his body in the church abbey of Champagne, France.